All right, Shalom. First and foremost, of all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Baha Shem, Yahweh Shai, Baha Shem, Rakar Kodash. The Bronze of the Apostle knows a great millstone of teaching us, so I'm saying truthful words of Bible real well. And peace and blessings to the elect of the nation of Israel, to the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shemal Shai. Going into the Lord's willing at a final lesson on how here in America, the land of our captivity, you know, as we read here in Baruch, uh, chapter 3, uh, verse 8, it says, Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity, where thou hast scattered us. Yeah, so we were scattered, you know, because of our disobedience, because we sinned against Yah by Shema Washah, we were kicked out of the, the Holy Land, the Promised Lands, you see, and right now we are a reproach and a curse and to be subject to payments, right? So we're a reproach, you know, we're the scum of the earth in the eyes of these nations, you know, so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, you know, we're under the curses written in Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter, and throughout the Holy Scriptures. And we're subject to payments, you know, we're captives here under battle and under, you know, in America, you know, which is Babylon the Great and the Holy Scriptures, right? According to all the iniquities of our fathers, which departed from the Lord our God, right? All because we're here to pay for our iniquities, our sins, you know, sin upon sin, that's what iniquity is, right? which we have sinned against the Lord, right? But in the land of our captivity, Yah Bashima Washai, you know, would, you know, would give us, you know, this grace period which we are under, you know, for us to what? Arise and depart out of the ways of the society. You know, we'd be given grace to come back into his good gracious, right? To return onto him. So when the Lord would bring, you know, deliverance and salvation, you know, we may be partakers of that. This is a Micah 2 and 10, arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest, right? So we're supposed to arise mentally, you know, and spiritually out of this place, right? Arise from the dead, right? As it tells us here. In Proverbs uh, 21 and 16, the man that wandereth out of the way of understanding, right? And our people, they have wandered out of the way of understanding, you know, out of the ways of Yah by Shema Shai, keeping the Lord's commandments, right? They are lost, you know? Our people are a bunch of lost souls. They don't know what's good for them, you know? They, uh, they're always, you know, in the worst predicaments, right? Because they have wandered out of the way of understanding. So the man that wandered out of the way of understanding shall remain in the congregation of the dead, shall remain in the congregation of the dead. The dead represents these heathen nations, you know, their ideologies, their philosophies. You see, our people who refuse to repent or refuse to arise out of America are going to remain here, you know, when this place is destroyed in thermonuclear destruction, they're not going to be caught up, you know, and be delivered when Yahweh Shai comes back with the holy angels, right? This is uh, Micah 2 and 10, Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest, right? And the rest that this is not, you know, is speaking about is America, and it's going into the way of life that this place promotes is not our rest. You know, we're not supposed to be, you know, eating shrimp, pork, crab, lobster. We're not supposed to be celebrating our birthday, you know, celebrating uh, pagan holidays. You know, we were supposed to use, you know, America, you know, as a reflection, you know, and see the wickedness that are going on and be like, nah, I don't, I don't want to be partakers in this. You see, I want what Yah by Shema Shai is promising us. So we have to arise in the part, you know, which is the spirit of Yah by Shema Shai that quickens us, that makes us alive, 
you know, us coming back to the ways of the Lord is teaching us what it means to truly be alive again, right? It says, Arise ye in the part, for this is not your rest, because it is polluted. That's right, this place is polluted and has polluted the minds of our people. It says, It shall destroy you, even with the sore destruction in us. You know, as a nation being destroyed in America, polluting the minds of our people, you know, you have a woman's lip, you know, you have the women of our nation, they want to be a harlot in the streets. You have the men of our nation who want to be, you know, irresponsible and effeminate, you know, which that's all going to lead, you know, to their destruction, you know, as Yahweh Shema Washai. You know, he requires his nation, his people to be of a certain uh, mindset, a certain status, a certain caliber of people down here upon the earth. And that sort of destruction is going to be that thermonuclear destruction. You see, this is a uh, Colossians 3 and 1, right? It says, if ye then be risen with the Mashiach, right, as we are close to arise out of this place, in the ways of Yahweh Shema Shai, these teachings, you know, they 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 elevate, you know, our vibration. They elevate, you know, uh, you know, who we are. You know, it's 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 a way of life. Let me get um a precept on that. This is um, we get Saint John right, the sixth chapter. Since I quoted it, this is um. St. John, uh, chapter 6, and, and we'll get Hebrews, the fourth chapter as well. I want to get that one. This is a Hebrews 6 and 63. I'm sorry, St. John 6 and 63. It says, is the spirit that quickeneth, right? The spirit of Yahweh by Shema Shai, it quickens us. It makes us alive. The flesh profiteth nothing. The deeds of the flesh don't profit us as a nation you know us following after the flesh the carnal men right is why we're in this predicament today it says the words right the words that i speak unto you the teaching the doctrine of yahweh shai the things that yahweh shai you know is teaching us through the holy scriptures they are spirit and they are life Right, so this is what gives us life. It is what makes us alive again, you know. And this is why we should be seeking first the kingdom of heaven. Right, we should be seeking the kingdom of Yah by Shema Shai. This is Hebrews four and twelve for the word of the Most High is quick. Right, it makes us alive and powerful. So this word is quick and powerful, you know, as those who are sincere in their walk you know, have seen the, the power that this word has, you know, how it has influenced our lives to make a change, has influenced us to become uh, new creatures, right? For the word of the Most High is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword. This, this is the most powerful weapon on the planet Earth, you know, the power uh, to elevate your mind, you see, and elevate, you know, your spirit out of, you know, the the death that's all around us, the, the sin that's all around us here in America. And that's why the wicked elites of this society and these other nations, you know, uh, did everything they could to make sure we didn't know who we were, you know, to make sure that we didn't have a connection with our power. You see, because this is strong, this this is better than any uh, 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 arts of war that you may have, you know. It says, piercing even to the dividing of sunder of soul and spirit and the joint of, of the joints and marrow and is a discerner of the thoughts and the intents of the heart, right? This word tries your, your mind to see if you're really going to be about Serving y'all by Shema Washai are not, right? Before we go back to Colossians, right? Let's go to the book of Matthews, uh, the sixth chapter, and then we'll close out on Colossians. Matthew 6 
and 19 it says lay not up for yourselves treasure upon earth right so we as you know the believers of Yah by Shema Washai, you know we know that we shouldn't be lay laying up treasures upon the earth you know trying to you know build a career get a 401k right uh get all these things you know to leave to our to leave to our children right it says, lay not up for yourselves treasures upon the earth. And we know not to do these things because America is not our rest. America is going to be destroyed in thermonuclear destruction in World War Three. It says, lay not up for yourselves treasures upon the earth, right? Riches upon the earth where moth and rust do of corrupt. And you see that, that moth, you know, yeah, you know, that moss and that rust it is corrupting via, you know, this inflation. As if you have, you know, the best example I can give, you leave a moth, right? Moth inside your closet, or eat at your clothes, right? So uh, the, the, the inflation in society is eating at everyone's bank accounts, right? It's eating at their dollar, right? It's eating at their, their life savings, right? And we're thieves, break through and steal, right? These can come and steal your goods as that's what the elites of society are going to do. They're going to break into your bank account, crash the system, and steal everything that you've been working for to where your labor is going to be in vain, right? And this is um real quick, this is a uh, Colossians, I'm sorry, Wisdom of Solomon. Uh, three, and we'll go straight to the point. Wisdom of Solomon three and eleven. For whoso despises of wisdom and nurture, right? So whoso despise that word despise means to hate wisdom, and the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of the holy scriptures is where on the highways and hedges, week in and week out, where you have brothers teaching every week, right? The apostles since. You know, then their teachers since the late 60s, early 70s, preaching the word, right, to nourish you, you know, to build you up in the spirit and power of Yah by Shema Washai. So those that hate wisdom and nurture, he is miserable, you see, their, and their hope is vain. The things that you hope for in society, your expectation, because that's what hope is, hope is the expectation is vain. It's going to lead to nothing. It's going to lead to you being uh, C-hipped, right? Which is the M-O-T to the B when they bring in this new digital system, right? Their labor is unfruitful and their work's unprofitable. So you, you're, you know, things that you're working for in this society are going to lead to be, are going to be shown to be unprofitable as riches profit not. In the day of wrath, but righteousness will deliver you from death, right? So how do you lay up treasures for yourself in heaven? By if you're a man doing the work, preaching the words of Yahweh by Shema Washai, you know, being, you know, a doer of the word and not just a hearer only, right? The women, they have their role, you know, and we go into those roles, you know, that a man and woman should have, but really... You know, it starts with repenting, you know, keeping the dietary laws, you know, praying to the names of Yah by Shema Washai. That's how you're laying up for yourselves treasure in heaven, Matthew 6 and 20. But lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven, right? Riches in heaven, the world to come. You see, we're investing our time and our energy into the world to come. It says, where neither moth nor rust do, do of corrupt, and where thieves do not break through nor steal, right? Yah Shema Shai, you know, is, is, you know, is going to remember our works. The Most High is not unrighteous to forget our work and our labor of love, which we have showed towards His name, right? For where your treasure is, a treasure, it, where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. So what you deem as valuable, you know, whether it be this current present evil world or the world to come, that's going to be what your mindset is all about. It's going to be what you're constantly thinking about.
constantly meditating on, constantly working towards, right? But Colossians 3 and 1, if ye then be risen with the Mashiach, if ye then be quickened, you know, through the spirit and power power of Yahweh by Shema Washai, you know, if ye then be risen with the Mashiach, seek those things, right? To seek means to try to obtain those things which are above. And what are those things that are above, you know? Uh, uh, the wisdom, knowledge, understanding of the scriptures, which, you know, the, the Heavenly Father's, you know, via Yahweh Shai, via the Holy Spirit, is sending down from the heavens, you see? Because the kingdom of heaven is going to be here upon the earth. So the things that we're seeking that are above is the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of the scriptures. It says, where a Mashiach, which is the Messiah, right, sitteth on the right hand of the Most High. Set your affections, things you deem as valuable, right, on things above, not on things on the earth. You see, as we know, this earth is going to pass away. It says, for ye are dead, right? So we're dead to this world. For ye are dead, right? We're dead to this world. You know, that's why we, uh, you know, distant ourselves from uh, family members, loved ones, you know, uh, children, wives, anything that uh, tries to hinder us from, you know, preaching the words of Yahweh by Shema Washai, anything that tries to hinder us to being dedicated to Yahweh by Shema Washai. It says, for ye are dead and your life is hid with Yahweh Shai in the Most High. So our life is hid with Yahweh Shema Washai. When Yahweh Shai, you know, Amashiach, who is our life, shall appear, then shall ye also appear with him in glory. So when Yahweh Shai returns, then we'll be able to truly live. You know, and that's why we're constantly meditating, you know, upon the kingdom. That's why we're constantly, um, you know, hasting his coming. While we're constantly watching for the prophecies, you know, the signs to lead back to the Lord's return, because then that's when we're going to have, you know, you know, our time to rule. That's when we're going to really, you know, live. Right. This is a uh, second Peter's three and one. I'm sorry. Second Peter's three and eleven. We'll close out. It says, seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, you know, America, everything's going to be uh, melted. Everything's going to be burnt up. It says, what manner of persons ought ye to be, right? What manner, what, what, what mannerism should you be having in these last days? You know, how should you, what, what type of person, how should be, how should you, should, how should you be conducting yourself as we see the day of Yah by Shema Shai approaching? What manner of persons ought ye to be, right? In all holy conversation in godliness, holy conversation, our conduct and how we're conducting ourselves should be different. It should be holy. It should be separate from the ways of this world. We should be godliness, right? Godly, right? God, Godliness, right? It's a compound word, right? If you add ness, N-E-S-S to the inner words, a suffix, you know, um, and Lee, you know, meaning like, like God, you know, we should be like the most high. We should be like his only begotten son. You know, I forgot the, the I know Lee, you know, God Lee, meaning, you know, basically being like God, the best way I can explain it. It says, so we should be in all holy conversation and godliness, right? Looking for and hastening unto the coming of the day of the most high. So we're looking for, right? We're upon our watch. We're looking for the signs of Yahweh Shai coming back. And we're hasting onto the day, right? We want it to come sooner rather than later. And we're building up our spirits now. Building up our, strengthening our minds, right? Bearing our cross. Going through our afflictions. You know, cheerfully knowing that Yahweh Bashim Shai is coming back uh, sooner rather than later. It says, where in the heavens being on the on fire, right? The heavens represent this current rulership is going to be on fire. 
right? It says, wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved, right? It's going to be turned into ashes. America, Babylon the Great, and thermonuclear destruction. In the elements, right? The elements, everything you see and can't see, and we are all made out of elements. And the elements shall melt with fervent heat. The elements are going to melt with fervent heat, extreme heat. That's why we shouldn't be trying to build in society. Everything is going to be burnt away. Nevertheless, we, according to his promise, the promise of salvation, the promise that he's going to return, look for new heavens, right? And new earth, right? New management of the planet earth, right? Of our new earth wherein dwelleth righteousness you see so we're looking for our righteous kingdom to be established here upon the planet earth right so you know continue to uh pray to yah by shema shai you know repent uh you know for the kingdom of heaven is at hand right repent pray fast study work out right uh you know and get your hustle on as brothers like to say you know uh and have your minds you know, ready for the return of Yahweh Shema Washai. With that, I'm going to say Shalom.